Hello there everyone and welcome back to Vanilla Hoi 4 in which we're playing as Finland. But we have just felled Leningrad. Leningrad, the former capital of the Russian Empire, has been occupied by Finnish forces. With a population of all of over 3 million... Oh god, stay there please. Um, the city is nearly as, as many inhabitants as all of Finland, but this fact is most evident and did not deter the Finnish attackers. There's some debate as to whether the city should be integrated into Greater Finland, since in green... In Green Finns make up a considerable minority in the region outside the city. This, of course, assumes that the Red Army is unable to retake the city in a counteroffensive. A great victory. So, we need to hold for 30 days, not lose it, and then see what happens as the Soviets are now fighting the Germans, which is honestly really great news for us. Now, I don't want to lose a lot of casualties here, but they're shifting their divisions all sorts around and whatnot. Um, this would definitely help us out if we took that too. I have to defend over a river. Much easier than doing anything else. And the Germans finally want to give us some equipment as well. Of course. Oh no, that's not the Germans, those are the, the those Norwegian guys. Yeah. National Firepower, did I read this one last time? I think so. Well, if you don't read this one, please go ahead, but we're doing joint scientific programs. I think that'd be for the best. More arty, more sport equipment, yes please. Um, what grades do we have here? Sure, why not? Mass rifle production. Oh, it gets out. Did that someone take it away? Huh. Interesting. Romanska would be nice, but save there for now. Because we are over here over the water. Can you do anything here? And there goes the US. It's 1941. They joined the Allies. Good for them. I do like it when they do attack us. Very good. So let's let it go by for a month. And we'll see what happens. I've got to hold land and grab. Because we did some comms go through, such as. Um, the winter war is broken if you're a Nordic, in a Nordic faction. Um, Finland will survive, says someone else. Finland will overcome Soviet aggression. Uh, someone else says. So I'll sign a peace treaty with the USSR after holding land and grab for 30 days. Frankly, I don't want the Germans winning in the Eastern Front. They're doing extremely well because of what we've been able to do here. Extremely well. Uh, someone says, yeah, I think your gameplay is bugged. The decision is supposed to be available earlier to peace out. But, you know, it is what it is. We've got three days left. Um, yeah. Someone says, historically, Sweden did help uh, send immediately to Finland. So, something's bugged at the moment. So, Finnish peace demands. We bring glad tidings from the front. Our forces recently won the siege of Leningrad and managed to secure the city. With this decisive blow struck against the Soviet Union, we find ourselves in a strong position to open peace talks. One of the stated objectives of the Soviet invasion was to increase the buffer around Leningrad, and now that they have undeniably not only failed in this goal, but indeed lost the city itself. We therefore imagine that they will be hungry to divest themselves of a conflict. It is now our decision to begin talks. We could continue the fight and see if we can take any more, or aim for white peace as soon as possible. Uh, it might be time for peace. Finish conquest. All core states controlled by Finland. Demand peace negotiations. Now that we've finally regained the upper hand against the Soviets, we can attempt to enforce peace. What does that do? They, the Soviet Union accepts. They have accepted our peace deal. Spontaneous celebrations have broken out on the streets as the news of our victory spreads. Soviet troops have already started to withdraw from our territory, returning in misery to their homes. This is certainly a day that will stand as one of the pride of our nation, as not only have we been beaten invaders, we beat them to so sound that we're able to expand our whole territories at their expense. Hopefully they learn their lessons at last. But do we not get... Oh. We don't get Murmansk. That's not ideal. Do we need Murmansk? We, uh, so we have to go back. We need Murmansk. Um, uh, I might just do some funky stuff here. Make sure we can get them. We don't get Leningrad? Bruh. Why don't we get Murmansk? Bro, so looks like I'm gonna have to go back and do that. Yeah, we don't have core states yet. This is stupid. This is really stupid. But it looks like we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, make sure we get Murmansk, and we're gonna read Oi Okolikia. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and now it's time for Oi Okolikia, the alcohol company to support the Finnish military, providing essential components for the weaponry. Through careful production and refining, they will specialize in creation of highly effective incendiary cocktails. 
giving infantry the advantage they need to neutralize light enemy armor. Mannerheim's duties accomplished. It is with gratitude that we acknowledge that Carl G. Mannerheim's accomplishments, for it's certain that without his leadership we would not have weathered the storm and our nation would be lost now. We must not ever make a difficult decision. Should we ask the marshal to continue his position or give up his bus and concede to the will of the people and introduce a civilian government? The Finnish people, thank you for your service. Marshal Baron Manaheim. And we get Juho Kusti Pasikiviki. Pasikivi. That's doctrine, huh? Realist conservative. More than 95% uh, stability increased public trust. Having less than 60% stability decreased public trust. Finnish sovereignty threatened. Wow. Holy crap, this guy's weird. Um, sure, guys. Well, the Axis is doing very well, I've, as the brunt of uh, the Comintern was destroyed by the Finnish military. Joint scientific program. I guess we could still do a new course for Kukuzmus. Recent events have led to another surge in support for the Kukuzmus parties. People look for strong, sensible leadership and a return to uh, traditional values. We should capitalize on this by pushing through the party's conservative agenda. Huh. They like a plus game. We could probably get that, use that. And policies gives us more, uh, get some goods factor. Gosh. Why not? Michiko claims that. That's nice. That's nice. Plenty of political power. Multi tactics. Don't really need them right now. Press censorship. I mean, we're at 100% right now. And we still have very high trust. After training, training, training. Can't convert these guys to anything else, which kind of sucks, but whatever. 41, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Yeah, the Finns took out the brunt of the attacks, and now uh, the Soviets literally can't do anything. Because of what the Finns have done. Stockpile is probably like really low. Probably have nothing. We need more guns ourselves. We got 29 God Boys. Cool. Well, let's get stuff we need first and then we'll continue filling it out. Takes a couple cities to do that. Not bad. Bring another uh, thing around here. Oh, Stalingrad's fallen. It'd be interesting to play as a Soviet now, now that Finland has all these buffs. I'll, I'll probably play as a Soviet at least maybe once. Maybe I'll play as the Germans to see how easy it is once the Finns get the snot beaten out of them. I don't know. I gotta play a lot of Ahistorical as well to see what it's all like, too. Yeah, we have no planes either. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, negative 18,000, not good. So you know we'll have enough we'll have a little bit of a delivery. Good. Five hundred of those guns. Okay. Yeah. Need some Swedish arms. Why not? Search by requirement extends the conscription. We'd have, to, we'd have to drop down a limited conscription, huh? Well, modernize the industry. Every national military industrial organization versus modernize the army. Fall of Manila, huh? Well, war, uh, war, tzilu, war tzilu engine production. Having the skills and capacity to produce engines of our own for the military will improve our national security by working with our allies. A domestic company such as War Silu can at least attain that level of security. Wait, what cores do we not have? Oh, don't tell me we need. Seriously, what cores do we not have? I might just use comms commands. This is kind of down though. We don't have everything that we need. Hold right, on, let's take a look. See here. Some more tank. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're still demobilizing, so I, I stocked up a lot of manpower here in our infantry. It's only 31 divisions, you know. So. Hey, you got one out of nine deliveries. Nice. Helping us out a little bit. Um. What cores do we not have? Is it up here? 
Stop me. Erlen? Yeah. Not Gotland. Are there any other islands up here that we should have? Nenetia? Um, German military advisors. Warfare is rapidly changing due to the use of motorized equipment and aircraft. Perhaps it's time to learn from our German brothers in our arms on how uh, best to utilize these new resources to our advantage. Finish March of Conquest. Where the hell are the cores? For too long we've been on the defensive against the Soviet Union and its predecessors. Now it's time to return the tide and push back the frontiers, liberating the people of Karelia from the Soviet oppression by any means necessary. In Greater Finland. No more shall we be preyed upon by the ruthless neighbors who covered our land. Instead, we shall become the predator and expand our borders and our natural boundaries beyond the lands of Karelia. All right, everyone. So I just use Khan's commands at this point because this is dumb. Like we we had all the cores, um. So I did the focuses anyways. It might be this one up here. I guess it is, Finnmark. But how the hell are we supposed to get Finnmark, um, without going to war with them? It makes this just makes no sense. Um, this is really stupid. And also, it, it didn't even fire when. It just doesn't make any sense. It. Before we took this one, I used Khan's commands for this one. Yeah, Finnmark is now core. That just doesn't make any sense. Finish March of Conquest. For too long we've been on the defensive against the Soviet Union and its predecessors. Now it's time to turn the tide and push the frontiers. Liberate the people of Karelia from the Soviet oppression. By any means necessary, modernize industry. The fruits of our technological labors have, been, have uses beyond battlefield applications. Many of them could be used to make our industry more efficient. Without some investment, we would be in a massive program of industrial modernization with our newfound knowledge. Greater Finland. No more shall we be preyed upon by ruthless neighbors who covet our land. And so we should become the predator and expand our borders to their natural boundaries beyond the lands of Karelia, which we read earlier. So, this is really dumb. Really, really, really stupid. That we had to use cons commands. It must be bugged. It has to be bugged. Because we could not take either one of these two the conquests or the Greater Finland, so, which is really incredibly stupid. I mean, my god, seriously. This is so, so dumb. So, so stupid. Uh, even though we had all the cores, even though it's not considered cores earlier, that. We couldn't take that focus because of basically a bug in the game, which I'm pretty sure was a bug. Um, because there's no other explanation for it. There needs to be a map mode uh, here to show you what are the cores for your current nation. And what countries that might own your cores. Uh, which I don't see any here. Here are the states. Go with Petsamo. Finnmark, which wasn't what which we didn't need to form... Uh, Greater Finland, but that really pisses me off here at the end. That we could not form Finland due to a, some sort of bug. We have an Erlen as well. We had Erlen to begin with. So, that just really infuriates me because I was looking over here, there's not a core. Up here, it's not a core. There's literally nothing else. So, that's got to be super bugged or something. But let me know in the comments below what you thought uh, about that because that's a bunch of crap to us. And Italy's getting invaded. It's 1943. Germans have done really well. Oh. Then got cut off. It's pretty good for them. Um, but other than that, I think we're going to end it there. Because I'm sure I'm going to be reading through a lot of these eventually as we uh, explore more of well, the Nordic countries. It still pisses me off to no end that this c did not fire <laughs> for literally no reason. But that's the Winter War for you. But it's Paradox DLC as well. So, regardless, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a greater Finland. Rest of your day.